guys I decided to go hiking today but since it's also 11 o'clock I'm bad and I wanted to go um, to get some bubble tea before I head out which sucks because they're in the opposite direction bubble tea is west and I want to go east to go hiking but I think I will try to do both um, the problem with that is it will probably mean I'll be pissing a lot in the wilderness but I think I will be prepared for that, if that is the case. So, gotta head out now. I've got my puppers in the back. Hello, let me turn on the AC a little bit. So, that was pretty hot. Um, I made a mistake. I should have brought Riley's vest because I could definitely tell she was tired by the end of it. She was walking very sluggish or slow and um, oh my gosh, there were so many people. I think on the way out, I passed by maybe seven parties I needed to move to the side for and um, the good thing is that everybody was respectful. Nobody leaned in to touch her and that made me very happy. Um, but actually, we passed by some horses, which was pretty cool, but at the same time, this pathway is very narrow. So um, when we were passing these horses, there were two, there was a couple and their dog, a small dog on the side, which was leashed, which is good, but I kind of needed to cram in there with Riley to let the horses pass. And um, that was a little concerning, especially because Riley seemed very curious about the horses. So even though we passed them, she kept looking back to see like what they were. Um, that same couple with the dog actually stayed there the whole time. So when I came back, we passed them and I had Riley walking behind me in kind of like a loose heel. Like I wasn't, I didn't care about her positioning, but whenever we pass people, I like, whenever we pass people, I either like to go off to the side and make her sit if there's space. And if there's not, I have her walk in a loose heel where basically I, all I care about is that she's next to me and by my side or something like that and um, of course when we pass by the dog I expect her to ignore the dog but when I passed um, I went first and then when I turned around I saw Riley leaning in towards the dog so I corrected her for that and that actually felt really good to correct her for that because when you see these once in a while moments where um, you don't want to miss a correction for, it feels very good to get the timing right because uh, I've mentioned in the past that I don't want her going up to other people or dogs. So when we're passing, I expect her to pass and not engage with them. But she leaned in to try to sniff at the dog. So I corrected her and then she just followed me on the way and everything was good. So. That was a good training experience, I guess. And it's really freaking hot, so I'm gonna get home, let her rest a little bit. She's very tired. Tired, baby. Oh, man. Finally back from hiking. That was actually a very nice drive back because I set it to autopilot. I think that's the right word for it. But um, yeah, so I was kind of just cruising, listening to my metal music. I'm trying to listen to more metal than rap or hip hop because metal's like my history. I listened to metal for so long from high school, past college, and I love the instrumentals from that kind of music. So it was nice to listen to it, headbang a little bit, and Riley was also so great in the crate because obviously she was just hiking, so she was tired, lying there all peaceful and sleeping a little bit. And uh, now that we're back, I rinsed off her feet a little bit with the hose because, you know, hiking there's a lot of dirt that gets kicked up and she was <laughs> pretty filthy. But now that we're back, she drank a ton of water and uh, maybe I'll see if I can play some Dota. If not, watch a movie. I need to eat something. That's definitely something I have to do because I have not had anything to eat yet and I need to order groceries. So now that we're home. I'm excited to chill. Good morning. 
Sunday and the first thing I wake up to is lovely Dota. So I did mention that the miner star ladder is going on right now in Ukraine. So right now the finals are going on. Optic Gaming versus BGJ Thunder. If you watch my videos, then you may have heard BGJ Thunder once in a while. They are potentially the new top Chinese team. And Optic is from NA, North America. And Optic is actually a team I uh, am kind of fond of because it contains a captain from the old EG that won TI5. And he's just a very um, honest person. A lot of things he says tends to trigger people because of how blunt it is, but I like that about him. And there are also other players on the team like Zai, who has been in the scene for a while, and I like him as a player, so I like to see them succeed and improve because they, are, they were a new team created uh, just last year. I have my puppers here. This girl was smacking her lips so much this morning making me frustrated because i don't i just want to sleep and i just hear and and i also i also have my breakfast so i was talking to somebody somebody about eggs and i haven't had eggs in a while so this is i'm not really sure how good this will taste it has a combination of sweet from raspberries and salty from my eggs because i like to just do oil and salt and then oatmeal as like a base or something so this should be pretty satisfactory so i've been considering something i was talking to my coworker about soylent two days ago on Friday and so the thing is I've always kind of mocked Soylent because I didn't think it I don't like the idea of people thinking that oh I need to be more efficient with my time I need to be productive always so I don't have time to sit and eat my meal I kind of feel like I thought that was how they were trying to market it like oh if you're some like really important busy person, you don't have time to make food. You don't have time to sit and eat your food. Just drink it. So it's a meal replacement. I actually first heard of Soylent at ESL1 New York. They gave us powders. They gave us free samples. They gave us a t-shirt. So since then, they have sponsored several Twitch people. They have... I, I, I don't know what else has been going on with them, but I feel like they've gotten much bigger. But um, th that is one thing I'm considering for breakfast because um, I think I tend to be that person who likes to just get up, get ready in terms of shower, do my hair, get dressed, and then go. And then spending that extra time making breakfast and eating it, I always find it kind of difficult to fit that in. So. I am considering trying out Soylent just for breakfast. Like I would never, I don't think I would like the idea of using it as lunch or dinner because eh, I mean, I guess if it claims it's meal replacement, then it could very well be, but I would feel weird replacing meals with just drinking it. If anybody has heard about it or has any thoughts about it, Please comment about it so I can <laughs> see what you guys think. Uh, I'm not going to jump the gun yet, but just something I've been thinking about because even though breakfast doesn't technically take that long to make, I think just the whole effort can uh, make it that I skip it at times. And it's ideally something I don't want to skip. So something like a grab and go would be pretty easy. Hi, so the finals for Star Ladder are still going on. It's just been like a game or two since I last spoke to you guys. <laughs> I just really want to go outside and enjoy the day. But at the same time, it, I kind of would like to watch this because I, I really like watching Dota. It's only 12.20, so I have my entire day 
to go outside <laughs> and do whatever I want. So I just kind of feel antsy sometimes when it's like, oh, I really want to go outside, but I'm watching Dota right now, so I can go outside after. I want to walk Riley Long again, maybe, especially if the weather stays nice. So might consider a trip to Del Mar again. Here's an interesting thing for the hermit that I am. Quick little, I don't know if this is necessary to say, the friend that I pretty much play Dota with and have been for years, whenever we can, he's actually my ex-boyfriend. Um, I was with him for like 1.5 years and he was my last boyfriend. So we broke up. I actually am very bad with dates. As a girlfriend, I don't care about dates at all. <laughs> so I don't know when we broke up, but I think it's been nearly two years now. I think so. Because we were broken up before I got Riley and I got her April 20... Shit. No, April 2016. Yes, so that's when I got her. But anyways, um, a couple... Well, has it been a couple months? I'd say like a couple weeks ago, he invited me to play Dota and he invited his friend who had his friends in the party. So multiple connection thing where it's not like, it's not James's friend, it's his friend's friend. <laughs> but anyways, they uh, we played a couple games and then he added me on Steam. And then through a tiny bit of chatting, he learned that I am here in San Diego and he is also here in San Diego. So last week he asked to get food and I was like, sure, why not? Um, the thing is I have mentioned that when it comes to scenarios like this where I kind of have an opportunity to go out and spend time with people. I'm trying to be more open-minded about it, but I'm trying to be logically open-minded about it. So the thing is with this guy, I actually don't know very much about him. I'll just go to go and hopefully it's not going to be awkward. I'm kind of trying to get over that anxiety of meeting people because I do tend to have that quite a bit. When I mentioned logically trying out these opportunities, I mentioned that because a couple days ago, I leave my OkCupid profile up, but I don't have the app installed on my phone. I don't browse it at all. And just on my profile, it's like, you know what? If you are interested in talking to me, just message me on Instagram because OkCupid messaging is really stupid and I'm not going to use it. So. Basically, I'm just like waiting for people to message me. And the thing is though, most of the time, I don't actually end up having interest in these people because we really don't end up having much in common. But that's the thing about these guys. I, I don't understand a lot of their thought process or I probably do, but I don't like it. <laughs> so one of the guys was like, ah, messaged me saying like, damn, you're into Dota and I'm into League, but I figured I would message you anyways. So we talked a little bit and discussed stuff, life views, all stuff that you guys should know about me already. So it, the conversation kind of like died down after a day. And based on what I learned of him, I was like, I don't care that this conversation died down. I'm gonna just like forget about him. And then uh, yesterday morning, he messaged me like, uh, let me let me show you guys. Or I don't know if I should show it, but I'll read it to you guys. So he says, so, I don't know. You and I seem like very different people, but I figure, why not just throw this out there? Would you ever want to go on a date sometime? And I was thinking like, you say we are different people, but you still want to go on a date. So I understand that you can't just be very rigid and judging like, oh, we seem like different people, we probably won't get along. But I like to think that way because 
um, from what I learned about him, he says that he likes to give people a lot of chances and he always likes to believe in the good in people. And I am the complete opposite. I believe in the worst in people. So just based off that, I was thinking like if I spent time with this guy and he was always like believing the good in people, that would drive me crazy because I like to be cynical. Sometimes it's like part of my humor. So if he's like being so optimistic and stuff, I would not like to be around him. So I said, honestly, I think we're probably too different for that to be worthwhile. And he says, I totally agree. Like what the hell is up with these people? It kind of like really hurts my brain to think that some guys are still like willing to go, want to go out with you when they know that personality traits or like life views don't align. Those things are pretty important. And um, another thing that I should consider more often that I don't think about is just that like online dating sites, they encourage men to just message a bunch of girls hoping to get through to them. So he was probably like, just gonna throw out the ask even though he doesn't actually care that much about it just to see if something could happen it's like no i'm not gonna do that um not interested in that stuff at all and another person actually said hey saw you on okcupid don't know what part of asia you are actually from but i will be studying in taiwan for five months at the end of the year so I'm at least trying to culture myself, LOL. Culture yourself. Um, I know it's probably an assumption to assume that I was born in America, but I am born in America. So if you're trying to culture yourself with an American born Chinese, you're literally going to learn nothing. So I was, uh, I kind of, like my friend said that was like maybe an insult that he said that, but I just found it to be kind of idiotic. But yes, those are my tales of um, <laughs> online dating. If people are kind of curious to hear about what else may have happened with stuff like this, I don't mind sharing. You guys know I don't mind sharing at all. But yes, holy shit, I totally uh, went off track there. I have a dinner tonight with the Dota guy at seven. So I do have plans later plans that I'm not used to having. It kind of sucks. Yeah, I feel a lot of anxiety for stuff like this when really I should just be like, no care. I'm just meeting him and uh, don't have to put too much thought into it. So I, I do wish I was more like that, I guess. Curious to see what he would be like in person, but I really have not chatted him with him that much online. People might say that like I'm being way too picky or like I have a very strict, um, process of weeding people out and it's like why not right um if you are happy by yourself there's no reason to compromise that for somebody to enter your life force you to compromise and sacrifice a bit to kind of like coexist with them I'm not, I'm not talking about living together but i'm just saying like in a relationship since it's somebody else that you need to kind of accommodate in a way um you do have to compromise. And right now, I don't compromise at all. I haven't compromised for two years. So if I wanna do something, I do it. I don't have to worry about what someone else's feelings are like. I don't have to care about like what they wanna do. I just do what I want with my time. So if I were to date someone, they would have to be pretty special for me to give that up, right? After all of that talking, game four just started. So I'm going to watch that. And hopefully Optic wins so I can go outside because I want to go outside. <laughs> hopefully you guys are having a great weekend. Hi there, pups. Alrighty. Time to get ready to go to Del Mar. I always think it's funny when I'm just like sitting here putting on my shoes and she's just like waiting there, looking all bored. Even though I hope she knows what excitement there is to come. <sighs> Hi. Hello, pups. <sighs> so, I actually lost my Bluetooth 
headset or earbud, so I had to buy another one. I had to buy another one. This time I'm going to make it a habit to keep it in this container so it's not so easy to lose because it's pretty small. It's just something you stick in your ear. So if I keep it in this, whenever I'm not using it or if it's not charging on my computer, hopefully this will be easier to keep track of than a small little black piece. Ooh, <clears throat> my pits are sweating and it feels weird. So I've always been that person who tends to have an easily sweaty back and sweaty pits for sure, but you know what? I don't care. I don't wear deodorant. I don't think I smell. I asked my coworkers before if I do because I've never worn deodorant in my life. I'd say we walked about 40 minutes. That's not bad. We kind of stayed within this neighborhood area. I didn't go towards like main roads as much because I guess I didn't want to deal with the super windiness and noisiness of cars passing by at higher speeds. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, I kind of would like to walk a little longer, but I was starting to get hot and the sweaty pits gets quite uncomfortable after a while. And I kind of assumed that she would be getting hot also. So it's almost three o'clock. Uh, might as well go home and spend some time doing indoor stuff before I go out for my dinner. I am so stupid. I hardly ate anything this afternoon and now my stomach is hurting. And yeah, I mean, I'm just about to head out for dinner and uh, I'm just weird. I feel like a sense of dread and it's not even based on the person. It's just, that's how I get right before I meet someone for the first time. So, <laughs> I, my stomach hurts and my mental state, emotional state isn't the greatest, but um, it's like 6.20, we were going to meet at 7, and I actually put in for the waitlist online just in case. I don't really know how restaurants are uh, in terms of wait times on the weekends around dinner time. I just assume it'll be a lot. but. Um, yeah, even though my stomach hurts, I was thinking that I'm going to eat soon. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to eat a granola bar because this freaking hurts and I don't want to be feeling this the entire time until we eat. And, you know, they take time to bring food to you and all that garbage. So can't be feeling like this the whole time. But yeah, let me show you my outfit. far I need to walk. I think this is far enough. But I don't feel like using the cat room right now. I don't know. I have the cats in there already so I decided to wear my Valentino booties. These jeans are newly hemmed so they kind of hit properly although I kind of have to pull them up so they don't clash. They're still a tiny bit too long but you know what? I'll work with it. I don't want to bring this back. And then I just have a white tank on the inside and then my jean jacket. So this is what I'm wearing and I should go. <laughs> Hi, I just got back from dinner and um, yeah, I guess that was okay. I guess when it comes to one-on-one -on -one with someone that I don't know very well, um, Sometimes it can feel, you know, uh, more awkward than it should, especially when there's like lulls in the conversation when you don't know what to say next. And uh, I, I like it when you get to a point with somebody where silences like that don't, me don't mean anything, where like silences like that isn't always a bad thing, but when it comes to scenarios like this, usually, you feel a little uncomfortable when there's silences like that. But um, yeah, I mean, I uh, put us on the wait list. So I think we got in pretty quickly, like five to 10 minutes. And we ate at BJ's Brew House and Bar. I don't know if that's like the full name for the restaurant. I ordered a salad and brought some home because I couldn't finish it all. And it was tasty. I liked it. 
definitely got to know him a little better. We probably mostly talked about Dota because that's like one of the few things we kind of have in common. Yeah, I, I think after I meet someone, I do tend to, what's the word? Warm up very quickly in terms of like being able to converse with them. But it's usually just like the lead up or the build up that really tends to mess with my mind. And I guess I've kind of always been that way because I would like, even for people that I talk to a lot on WoW, even though I knew them very well and we got along very well talking online, if there was ever like the mention of meeting in person, I would feel super terrible leading up to it because I'll think about it a lot and just be like, what if this, what if that, or just like the first glance kind of thing, like, oh, <laughs> I, I'm just weird like that. It's only like 8.15 right now, so I still have a decent amount of the evening to just mess around. New week of work this week, although last week was pretty fast. And I guess I do have, it's, it's silly because it's not even my puppy, but um, Shane is getting his puppy on Thursday and then I will be seeing if I could stop by on Friday. Originally, I was thinking, I was kind of tempted to take a half day and stop by his house, but that means that if I stopped by his house, I can't come home until after traffic is over, which is the longest time. That would be like me staying at his house for like four to five hours. I don't know if puppy will entertain me that long, Maybe it would. Yeah, something to think about. It's just that like, the thing is I get, right now my job gives me 15 days of vacation, but since I started in February, I got 14 days. Five of those days are going to TI at the end of August. So I do have like nine days to use up. I already used half a day, uh, two weeks, ago or just like for the motorcycle thing when I dropped it off I used half day for that so I do have like a couple days that I will need to spread apart to use up and uh, a lot of people like to save their vacation for the holidays like you know towards the end of the year and I don't care about that stuff very much so they don't want everybody taking the same days off if possible if you can they prefer for you to like pick a day and just be like that's mine if you're one of the first few people to take that day, then you have priority, stuff like that. So I do have days I can use, and I've always been pretty lax with using my vacation compared to some people who just save them and hoard them. I like taking my days off, so I'll see maybe if it'll be worthwhile to spend that much time at his house. <laughs> yeah, I had some beer, almost one glass, so I feel a little funky in my eyes. It's always my eyes, like they feel heavy. And then you feel like a little bit of like numbing sensation. Pure, I don't know how to describe it, but I feel it. But hopefully it will subside soon. And uh, I haven't let the puppers out, so I'm pretty happy to see her. She's so cute, man. I can't get over it, honestly. When I see her little face every day, it makes me so happy. And then like, <laughs> sometimes when she's straight faced, I'm just like, hmm. Why are you so serious? And then when she's happy, I'm like, damn, why are you so happy? But it's good. Then I have Milo right behind me. I feel like you guys don't often get to see Milo because I'm always, I know Riley's my baby, but I have two other babies too, right? And this is one of them. But he's always causing trouble, you know? And uh, he's like, he looks kind of weird lately because I cut his hair. I think it's funny though, because he has like no hair around his neck and then the like upper part of his body, like closer to his head is like very short and then his butt is all normal, so. He's so soft though and he's so cute. Okay, all right. Get this adorable little baby just lounging with me.